Hi, I'm Daily Driven Mods. As you guys probably have forgotten because I haven't posted a video in forever and I'm going to explain to you guys why right now. Uh, pretty much I was laid off from my job as an industrial fabricator and at the time it was kind of an awkward period around Christmas where things weren't really going my way and uh, a lot of shit happened all at once. So I unfortunately had to divert funds from the race car and put those funds into my life and pay for rent and insurance and you know being able to live and stuff like that. And, you guys all know the deal, you guys deal with it as well on an everyday basis. So uh, yeah, so I pushed through all that stuff, got, got everything all uh, figured out now. So we're back on track with this car and we can finally actually go out and drive it and enjoy it. Um, and that's what we built it for and that's what you guys have seen me work for this whole time. So I really want to kind of get to that end goal where we actually go out, drive it, have fun with it, make sure it doesn't break because it is a BMW and uh, just enjoy it. And that's kind of like the whole thing that we've been working on, right? So that's where we are right now. Um, I want to say a big thank you, obviously, to Ryan Chan, the guy who owns the LS400 behind me. You've seen him help me do the cooling system and get the car ready for its first drive and stuff like that in some older videos. He was fortunate enough to actually get me a job where he works and uh, that kind of really saved my ass right in the nick of time kind of thing. So I really do appreciate that. So big thank you to you, man. Put a link right here. You can follow him on Instagram. He does some cool drifty shit as well. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna jump back onto this thing. I got a few things I wanna do, I wanna get it ready. Uh, I have a drift event coming up September 9th. Uh, I just wanna make this video real quick, just kinda let you guys know what's going on. I've had a lot of people message me on Instagram and Facebook and stuff asking me, you know, hey man, like what happened to the car? Do you still have it? Are you doing anything with it? Blah, blah, blah. You know, why aren't you making any videos? What have you done to it since we've last seen it? And uh, that's pretty much why, guys. I just had a lot of other stuff going on that I had to kind of figure out first. And uh, as much as I love doing the YouTube thing and, and showing you guys what's going on, uh, personal matters always take uh, numero uno. But uh, we're all back on track now. Everything's all good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to send it back to you guys. I'm going to show you guys what's going on. And then we're going to jump right into it. All right, guys. So we are in the shop. We're in front of the E30. Uh, we're going to be doing a couple things on it. I got to install a rear sway bar. Last time we went to the track, the rear end was a touch on the squirrely side and uh, I just want to stiffen that up a little bit. Um, I also have something I want to show you guys too. I got a Type X rear wing off a 180SX. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to run it. It, it looks cool and it looks a little small. I thought it was going to be a little bit wider than it is. Uh, I feel like one of those 326 powered ones would probably look a lot cooler but I'll let you guys kind of be the judge of that. Um, I don't know. I think it looks, still looks pretty badass but I don't know if it entirely kind of fits the, the whole car here. I feel like one of those um, uh, team burst style rear, like flat deck trunk lid ones would look a lot cooler, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. And uh, you know, whatever you guys say in the comments goes, right? All right, so we're working on the E30 right now. Um, sway bar in the rear is such a pain in the ass when you have the full assembly in. I totally forgot how shitty it was. Um, not really that easy to see what's going on, but I'll try and show you anyways. So bar comes up, attaches poly bushing to the, um, bottom of the rail there that comes down goes across to the little tab that's still from factory um, yeah it's pretty much all there is to it I just got to figure out if this is a correct way or if I need to go on the other side of the axle because right now there's about a fingers length between the two pieces there and I don't want it to rub so I'm gonna double check online make sure I had this installed correctly throw the screws in the top of the bushing up there and uh, hopefully we should be good and this will be uh, one less thing that we have to do on the car You're just driving right into it. Oh! <laughs> Quick, hop in and press the brake. Fuck oh, no. Why not? Hold on a sec, let's see if I can break it. Oh, it's rolling over the seat back here. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh yeah, the old Miata one. That'll be work. Can you go back with it? Put it like behind the tire. No, what do you mean behind? So it doesn't roll. Oh, I was thinking put it so the truck can climb up and then on. No, it's put it behind the tire. This is a great idea. <laughs> do you want me to break it in again? All right. It seemed to keep it from sliding. Just don't kill me. Go right ahead, you give me all you got. There we go. <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. 
Let me get a picture. Oh my god. Yo, don't even worry about it. There's like bugs and shit in there. It's fucking disgusting. Jose, you can go, you can go up a little bit more. Oh, now, oh, if he wasn't there, we could do a burnout against it. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Ryan, start the Lexus and drive right into it. <laughs> I don't even know, I'm gonna have to check these pictures out once I'm down. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Lexus that we have now. Oh, it'll shatter instantly. Oh, there it is. Is that tire off the ground? It feels like it. Yeah. You're about an inch off the ground right now. And that window is like just dying. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> That's okay, keep her going. Oh, well, no, the once the tire pops off the ground, it'll fucking just tip. Oh, oh my god. The fucking flex, man. That thing is crazy. Okay, hold on, okay. That window is dying right there. Every like split second, I can just hear it splitting more and more. <laughs> that is a funny thing over. Do it for the gram. That was great success. A great success. That's fucking sick. You want that, eh? Can't do that with my car. Look at Look it. Why I like a <laughs> Even the fuse panel is like fully intact still. That's Lexus quality. Lexus quality. quality. You can't even tell that we've even drove over it. Looks mint. Window got a little uh, little dink though. That's okay. <laughs>